Naturi turi, ita faike fina ngalo e otwa. Tala mai e foka mo otwa, ui kaya pito loya e otwa ngata ngata e otwa ke loya. Te mo otwa o tangata, ke lea faka ke ne faike la. Mo ake ta e ke e ki e kai ngate ui, kore ake he mo ta na pi mea otwa mo e mo a mo mala ngalo to ta pi mea mala ngalo. So mo le mo le pe to ta ta i, kore ake o ta na ta ma ta ta ma e o o ta na ke ta ma e ne pe a otwa ya.
Yeah. Hey. 
ta iki Kai ke mau ilo te pepe Anga fe fe ke mau tu Iho ao he a fo to lo to e Ka ko mau ilo pe ko iawe Ko iawe Ko e hua fa ya mau mo uya i Kanetaya <laughs> Apui ki mau tol hono koto O kune hamusi ki mau tol mengu tol O kune fora haofi ki mau tol Ke mau hoko ko e kau fora mooni malo Dabe ki na hosi asi e ki kau maa Fora fora ku ke hosi omi ke fora maa na vai holo tolo tonga Fora maa loa peko e o tua fai to tonu ae afiona Hey, we kai ai hame a e puli pe uli uli la ta ki ho makai ka ku ge afio ye ho holi ai loto ho kakai be a mau fa ma lo ko ho foro fola he a ko en o mau to ya be a ku mu ni a ki ho mau loto i kai nga ta be he mau fa ka ka u ka u ka u ko i fo ya ki ho mau loto ke o ana to mole afunea be me he folo fola ofa e afiona he afwe foka foke nge ya mo lang lang mo foka apa apa he ha auto ta be ya he wa fa si su gai si ka ko ma fa mo amen me ati la lo ko le ka bes ni a ke ha ke ma ka ma ha Kole ke mau sio ke folo folo ake toh ya. Dek talo no me. And ask you to turn with me this morning to the book of Deuteronomy. Koho no. Mahai ho no tolu noa. Chapter 30. Koe vahe ok vese ua noa. And this chapter has 20 verses. Ka ko faka amu peke tau fe tong tong imo lau e tala noa fa au fo fa koen. But I hope that we would interact and read this beautiful scripture. So during Moses' Sunday school this morning, this afternoon. And it was the scripture that he used, the story of Jonah is what I was going to speak about this afternoon. And I said to Moses, go on. Because I knew for certain what, the God, what God had given me. Because he knows his people. And I um, welcome Alamita this morning, this afternoon. Wow. And it's no wonder why God had given this story to my spirit this morning. Because it is the scripture that the women had been sharing on. But there was something that he drew me to. In chapter 30. And Chenomake mentioned the Samoans preaching this afternoon. This and they said to choose good. And it's the same theme that I'm bringing for you this afternoon, church. In the story that is the blessing. In the times that we return to God. 
wonder why God gave this to me. But it seems like that my spirit is is still not um comfortable with this with this. But God kept drawing my attention. To the blessing and the goodness of the opportunity that God provides for you and for me. And that regardless of what position your life is in, return home. Return home to the Father. Because it is only there that you will find love. And it is love that is real. Uh, so we turn to chapter 30. So I'll read verse 1 and then you can read verse 2 and then we'll continue on that way. And then we can stop at verse 16. If I am a man, go to a peck at the coe, I tap waki mo mala ya aya, go for go to iho ao. Peke for a manatu, king I me ani, I pull it anga go to a pe, aya go capu go ekiai, a sihova, go otua. E toki li li wai e sihova ko otua aho popula. Pe a e alo ofa ia ki a te kohe. Pe a e ta foki ia o ta anaki ko e mehe ngā hipule anga koto a pe. A e a kuo fura mo vete vete ko e ki ai e sihova ko otua. Pe o miko e sihova ko otua ke fonua aya na e mau e o ngahi tamai pe a teke mau ia pe a e fai lele e ia ki a te koe pe a e fara toko lahi ha ke koe i o ngahi tamai. e ai e sihova ko otua ai ngahi mala iani ko toa pe ke ngahi fili ke ho ngahi fili pe ke tek na tol ok fe hi ake te ko e mo foka tanga i ko e pe e foka monu ia i ko e sihova ko otua ai nga u e ko toa pe a ho nima I he fua o ho sino mo i fua o ho nga whanga manu, pea i he fua o whonua, pea ke lele ia i ko uhi e toe fie fia a sihova ki a te koe, i he lele o hangeko ene fie fia ki ho nga hita mai. He koe whekau ni aia o kua o whekau ai ki a te koe he aho ni. O kui kai ilom, o kai lilo ia mea te koe. Pe a kui kai mama o ia mea te koe. Pe a kui kai mama o atuia i he tua tahi. Ko uhi ke ke pehe e ai, ko hai e alu mama o atu ke tahi ke o mia ke te tau tolu, ko uhi ke tau whanongo ai pe a whai ia. Vese ono taha ni ma, wakai ko o whokotu'u i ho ao he ahoni, ae mo ui mo e lelei, mo e mate, mo e kovi. Tau lau fua taha vesta hau noa. Koe uhi e whekau ki a te koe he ahoni. 
ke ke ofa ke sihoba ko otua ke alu iho no ngahi hala pe tau he ne ngahi fe kau mo ne ngahi tu tu uni mo ne ngahi fa mau ko uhi e tapo aki ko e sihoba ko otua e fondua ai aku ke alu ki ai ke ma uya fa feta ko e Follow, follow line as he hova ke Moses. So this is the word of the Lord to Moses. Ko e amanaki eni ke na wa u ke fonu atala ofa. They are in hope of reaching the promised land. Pe a oku hange ko hanoki i summarize o fekau. And it was almost like a summary of his instructions. Pe a mo lao as he hova ke tau tanga ta fo o ko eni. And the Lord of Jehovah to this new generation. Ko osia te tau tanga ta ko e ko tau tanga ta fo o when na tu tu uni si ho baka te knau tolu. So the older generations had passed, but this was a new generation that God has commanded. Ma elu lave ko to alau to fa sa pa te kia. And we heard in Sunday school earlier. Be ko e folo folo a si ho baka ya Moses e ta la kia te knau tolu. And this was the commandment of Jehovah of God to Moses to tell them. I he va he wa he va. In chapter 29, Moses reminded these people, Was it not easy that you stood and saw the land? It was great work that God had done that brought you through that. That brought you from Egypt. And you went in the wilderness for 40 years. And I fed you every day with the manna. Not only that, but the garments that you wear. And the shoes on your feet. For 40 years and you're still the same. And there are many times that we wonder, like the, the story of Jonah, how can you wear the same clothes? How can you travel in the wilderness for 40 years and your sandals still be in place? And that is the God that we serve. And it's a great reminder for us. Because as you sit there and as I stand before you, there was something good that God had done in your life. And this reminder, so that you may never forget, and we never forget like the book of the the work of God to deliver his people from Egypt. It tells us never forget because in those times when we did not know him, he already knew you and he already knew me. You didn't know that his hand was upon your life. He saved you. Regardless of you doing your own desires. But God was in you. And it says from the beginning, he was there. In the midst of it all, he was there. And in the end, he will be there. And it's a good God that we serve. It wasn't a smooth path. And it's, it's a good reminder for me. It's a great memory and a reminder of the good things that God did in my life. And I will never forget it. And I will never stop reminding people or explaining what God has done. Because when I was going with Lotte, to the interview before she started, I questioned the specialist. Why is it that some cancer patients pass away even though they go through chemotherapy but they still pass away? And why is it that you're instructing us to go through But there is good hope. And this is what the doctor said. I cannot guarantee but 
But the, the answer is in someone higher. The ruler of all the world, the, the answer is in him. And we'll all go through through problems and through um, but the good hand of God is the good hand of God that provides healing to and us and Salot is sitting with us this afternoon and she has not stopped her chemotherapy but life and death is in the hand of God Amen. None of us can say no to this. I follow follow to the the Bible that, God has given that he is put in our midst this afternoon. The goodness of God, Israel. Do not let go of it. Because God knows that they can't keep this command. God knows your shortfalls and my weakness. That we cannot always keep to the commands of God. He knows very well. And he even gave us um, a way. In this generation, he says, if you sin, there's something that you do to return you to God. And that is the good God, church, that we serve. That he always gives us a way out. So that we may find ourselves and return to him. So that when we do return to him, that it is immediate his forgiveness in our lives. It's not like he saves it for tomorrow. Or he says it to check if you're genuine. But the very minute. And that the very moment that you, that you confess with your mouth. And this message says that it's not far from you. So why is your salvation because your heart is close to God? To say I believe in you, Jesus. And the sacrifice that you made, that is my forgiveness. And no man can take that forgiveness away from me because it's from God. And God knew very well that we would come <laughs> to you. That in your life there will be something that you fall on. Israel. Oh, what the fuck? Don't turn away from me. Israel. Israel, he says, remember when I delivered you. Oh, and don't forget it. And don't ignore me. Because I, Jehovah, I will be with you always. I will be with you always. So you don't have to worry about the word. Because the word gives you lies. And it gives you deception. So that you would go and fall into temptation. But chapter 30 gives us. So that we will see the grace of God. And his love for his people. He said to them. You will go to the promised land. You will turn away from me. You will turn away and serve other gods. And God knew very well and he, said to us, he prophesied the future of our lives. And he said, This generation will be worse than the generations that are past. It was prophesied by the prophet. That you would go to Babylon for free. And there will be a day where God is your Christ. And he will grab you. And there will be no more sin amongst you. And that is the fulfillment of the 
And we sit here and we're waiting for that great day where God returns. And in that day when he comes to take his people, there will be no more such thing as sin in that kingdom. But joy every single day. You will no longer know evil. For it is the great kingdom that God talks about here. Israel. Don't be far off. And that's why I refer to the story of Jonah. Do you not wait until you go into the, the stomach of the whale. Before you know the purpose of God. Do you not wait until you know the Before you know the, the will of God. You. Come fully. Come, come holy into the presence of God because he created you. Don't be disobedient, Israel. And unstoppable church, I encourage you not to be disobedient. But listen and let it go within your heart. And that you live by it. And we hope that this upcoming mission I'm not too concerned about this. But what I am concerned with is what God will do that night. To the people who come and give their offerings to the ministry that do. God is not concerned about the thousands or the hundreds or what money you bring. But what he is concerned about is your heart. That you do this and you know for certain that you love God. Don't try and, and go away from the love of God. When you know, remain there. Remain there regardless of the difficulties. And he says in this story, Israel, everything in chapter 29, the very place that you were leaving, we were victorious. We fought great cities for you to come and stand there. Therefore, if in the midst of your sin, again, be grateful for what God has done. Have reverence for what he's done in you. So therefore, everything that God reveals to you and I, he says, remember when I cared for you. Remember when you were struggling and had no money, you asked and I gave. Remember when you asked me about your daughter and your son that were disobedient to you. I made a way for you and gave you peace. Remember the time you did not know the answers for your life. And you felt it was filled with darkness. And you knew no way out. But you knew me. And that's the God that we serve, church. That is the God that I testify about. And you will see the blessings that this chapter tells us. It is a blessing for you. Because it says here that everything you do will be blessed. You will speak and it will be blessing. You will work and it will be a blessing. Everything we do in the presence of God. With the empowerment of the Holy Spirit. Those things is what, give God, is what gives God glory. That is what glorifies God. In the times where our life is difficult. But we still persevere. In the time that the enemy tries to get us, you look at Jonah in the stomach of the whale, he cried out to who? He cried out to who he knew and who knew him. There is no way out here. Amen. 
Unless she can, unless the um, whale spits him out. And for due respect, God probably kicked his stomach and it And that is the God that you must kick your enemy in the stomach that causes you to sin. So that you will know the great God that you serve. And that is the beauty of remaining church. Okay, you know, we weren't brought here without splendid. And regardless of what situation your life is in right now, I will stand and I will explain what I mean. Even in times where I accepted Jesus and I was faithful, my life still went through challenges. But that is the molding of our lives. More like him. That we become more like Christ. Right. So that as time progresses, you forget everything. And you are obedient to the word of God. Lord, I know that I don't do this wholeheartedly. But the ending of chapter 29 it says that there are secret things that God does not reveal to you. But there are things that he has allowed you to do. Do that and you will live. There are things that you shouldn't question. It's God's business. And there are things that are just enough for you to know. That it's just enough for the sacrifice of God.
He's a jealous God. Because there is none like him. But it is only him alone. And no matter where you go, you will be able to tell the difference. And that's why I enjoy my work. Because it is helping people that their bodies are weak. That they are elderly. That there are sicknesses that they have. But when we treat them with love. God is faithful to his people. And I'm not concerned Because I know that God. And it's the blessing of God that and the spirit of God covers us against anything that tries to come and, and take our lives and that is the belief in my life that if I do works out of love it is God that would that will finish do everything you can with what you can and let God um, fulfill it so when you give your offering, let God fulfill it and give us a And that's the There is nothing in the church that will be too difficult for us in the work of God. Because he will make a way. We may get weak. We may get sick and poor. But he will do something different. And it's like I can almost see it. That God will give us a building. That will be like what he's will is. If we are faithful and obedient to his work. And lift him up in every area of our life. And that's all he wants. He doesn't want our money. He wants our hearts. And when God sees the heart of man, that, that person's life will be a blessing. You will see and you will know somebody's life and the way it is, and it looks different. We see what God is doing in the life of Nella. And we do not boast and say that it is unstoppable that it works. But it's Jesus alone and his faithfulness. And his word that you will return. And I will give you what you, what you deserve to, more than your forefathers. And that's the scripture that we read. We don't need to get sick. We think that we need to make um, a great feast of different tears. Or give a bigger sacrifice that God will love us more. No. What God likes is, is that we show our love with every ounce of our being. He's not a God that lies. He's not a God that hides. But he sees very well what we are going through. And that's what makes me happy about our congregation. With everything that we have, we are happy with that. We are comfortable with that. We give, we give God praise in everything. We give God praise in everything. And thank, his, thank him for his faithfulness. And that's all we can do. And let God fulfill it. God fulfill it. Amen.
o que cai que que tu tu cu e que mau tol que mau mole pe te mau au ha pe te mau ma te mau ngah yang hala ka ku que fai pe me a coto a pe que mau fuck ia que te co que mau ilo e cai te a potu ia pe cai te a feitu ia pe cai te a ha o tu ia eta tau pe mo co si su galais fama le male yang que mau tol e que to no no coto a pe mau fai yo ao Na mo nga yang halalilo ma fufu mo nga me ma fai fa fufu ka ma hau ke lo tu fa nga nga li fa ka mole mole iki ma tolo e fa ka mole mole yang ki ma tolo e ka tu ke ma tu fa ta o tali yo e ki ma fa am ke ma fili ki mo ui o ma fa am ke ma fili ki lelei he ko ko ya te ke ya i ke fa monu ya i ko to Vai hala te mau fowai me a kota pe ye mau mo ui mau tuku lolo atu e ahko en ko ya fo o wen ke ke fai e fo fetong ki o mau lau mali e ke mau ilo ilo pau ko e o tua le le ko e ko e o tua ko e fai ki hono le ta po ki na ho si asi ye nga hai pot ke ke he na ha u me ya ta po ki na ho na lo to ke na to a Hang a hi hala ko tau pe nau fowai, kai tu ke nau kai tu pe. Bilingi a pe fukta ikuna, hang mau ilo kalai si ko kai kuna mag mau dol. Aki hota ata mau honga, mau kore ko tau pe hang a hi me ani ia te ko pe si su kalai si ko alo, ka ko mau fa mau i. Amen. Thank you nia. This afternoon, I open up the altar. They see you out, but they mahalo kehe out kya te koi. I will see you, and I may think something different. Kako yo tu out kai ke kehe ya besi yo ata kata. But God is different when He looks at men. Oksi yo be ya of. He looks with love. Koya ya kuko le kya te koi ya koi. Therefore, church, I'm asking you. Oh, and I get to go away. Then let this opportunity pass you. Go get to go away. Go and go away. I'll get. Far from you, you do it all. Go all the time. The night for a fall, I see you. But keep your eyes steady. Time to move away. Get from you. I tell you, far to move. For a two and make a one. For this opportunity, let it be known that this is what God was talking about. Be a good man. See life. Be a hiki. I am not fake. I'm. Kako all the time. He says, "My altar does not require work." Anything that you bring forward is an altar. And the commandment of God is in the commandment of God. You come to His altar as who you are. Koi oli taya e otua koi oli taya e hau hau. And that is the altar of God. Hau esiwa. You come as you are. Kai hanga e otua o fai me a make he mako. And God will do something. Hau aki holoto koto. Come with your whole heart. Hau atamai koto, mo mo ui koto. All your mind and all your life. Kai hanga e otua o fata tau ke ne follow follow he. And allow God to do according to His word. Oh, fai koto.
lotu ada kenal dolu kau ni buat apa ni? Kau pakai hati hati mui. Kau mau kau hilang tu kau ni? Kau nunggu mai? Kau sepe kau ni kau file lotu mesti kenal dolu kau ni? Kau tengah berkiva hiba kau. Fakta. เงาเวทไอเมียหางเอ้ยก็ฟลอฟลอตาพวกเกอะก็นี่เอียเอียเมียติดตาวฟีลิกตาวไฟก็คนหนูหิงาก็ฟีลิกก็อ่ะอันน
Kari me ai lo tu ba mau fafeta i ba mau fama lo i ta mai fafeta i ko lo hinga ko ka mata anga ba mau wa mai ke fa o singa i ko wa ko ni o ko ke fa to ton lo be a fio na e ko te ke hanga tuku tuku i ai be ti mau to lo he tuong lo mau i ai ka ku ke fa va ve va ve mai ke fa feta u laki ko lo hinga ko o fa ka te ke mau to lo ta pe ki na ho si o si i ta mai ho wa ko ni lo tu ma ke hega fa fi ka o si o lo he mu moala lau ko mala vini ya me kai ngai to nga e mo ke nau tol ko to be si kai ngai ko ke mau kau en aki pe hanga u hinga ke heke he nau misi ya ta po ke a ko ni ta mai ya wa ke mau lo tu ga ke nau tol ko fi tau la ki ya tu ho lau ma ri e o fa ga te ke nau tol e wa fa si su ka la si fo ka de pe ngai ya mo la ngai la ngai ke te ko e jesus wonderful name we pray amen and amen ko le pe ke mo me ki la lo Oh, ilo pe ko ahoy ni ke fire e. Fa se practice me ngai me ko ya. Ko le pe si sa 